Welcome to Vatec Video Training that shows you how to take the optimum images using the latest product manufactured by Vatec. Now you are watching the state-of-the-art medical system. Our latest system and control units will take you to acquire the most accurate images. Now we start the standard patient positioning guide for panorama standard image. First, please turn on the switch. If the machine is not working, although the switch is on, please check the emergency shutdown switch. Before image capturing, execute Easy Dent and register the patient information. Enter chart number, name, date of birth, gender, and address of the patient. Then click Add to complete patient registration. Then click the Pano icon on the Pano Ceph filed to run capture software. Go to Imaging Mode and click the Pano. Depending on the image quality which operator wants, select UHD, HD, or Normal. Select the patient's arch type on the arch selection. There are four different arch type, narrow, normal, wide, and child, and orthogonal function can be applied depending on diagnostic purposes. Go to Pano Examination and select ROI. Now, for the Panorama Standard Image Capture, please select the Standard. According to patient's gender and age, select man, woman, or child. Next, please select the appropriate setting for the patient's bone density type. Depending on the patient's bone density type, you can select hard, normal, or soft. Click the Confirm button when the patient setting is completed. Then the equipment will set in positioning mode. After the equipment stop moving, install the chin support and bite block. Move the canine laser beam and the Frankfurt plane laser beam to the initial position. Guide a patient to the unit. All jewelry and metallic objects such as necklaces, earrings, hairpins, eyeglasses, dentures, and orthodontic appliances should be removed before patient image capturing. Patient can keep their removed jewelry personally or place them on the guided shelf. Assist the patient to appropriately wear the lead apron. Be careful the lead apron is not above patient's neck. Ask the patient to stand in front of the handle frame. Adjust the chin rest position approximately to the height of patient's chin height using the up-down switch. For PAX eye, the chin rest position can be adjusted using the up-down switch on handle frame. Place a hygienic cover over the bite block and ask patient grasp the handle. Confirm the patient's right and left shoulders are parallel and lead the patient to relax. Make sure that the mid-sagittal plane laser beam is positioned at the center of patient's face. Ask the patient bite the bite block. The incisor edge of the upper and lower teeth must be placed on the groove of bite block. Operator should position the patient according to the following process to minimize shadowing effect of the spine and stretch the spinal image. Ask patient step forward like the screen. Bring the patient's chest close to the handle frame. Using the up-down switch, raise the chin support that the patient's spine can be properly stretched. Before pressing the up-down switch, operator should inform the patient about the movement of chin rest and control the switch. At this time, the patient should be stretched up and patient's face is raised slightly. Match the patient's Frankfurt plane at a level with the Frankfurt plane laser beam, adjusting the height of chin rest. Before pressing the up-down switch, operator should inform the patient of the following process. First, keep the shoulder and neck level. Second, tilt patient's head when chin support goes up or down. If Frankfurt plane beam is not parallel to Frankfurt plane, the occlusal plane on the image will be flat or V-shaped. 
Match the canine laser beam at the center of the patient's canine teeth, adjusting the canine beam lever. If the location of canine beam is off the patient's canine position, incisor image can be incorrectly magnified, which means reduced or enlarged incisor images are achieved by incorrect capture layer. When everything is ready, rotate the temple support wheel to tighten the temple support to stabilize the patient. During image capturing, ask the patient to close the eyes and place the tongue to the hard palate. Also, instruct the patient not to move until the image capturing is completed. Operator should confirm three beams are placed appropriately before capturing the image. Back to the control unit and click the ready button. Press and hold the exposure switch as the guide in capture software. While the exposure switch is held, radiation is exposed and proceeds taking the images. After the image acquisition, save the captured image. If you purchased license of AF mode, select and save the optimal image using mouse wheel. If the manual save is set, click the save button to save the image. After the image capturing, unfasten the temple support, then guide the patient out of the unit. Check the captured image 